down. Hey there. Wow. You say you can only make mac and cheese. Uh, I know I cheated though. I used um, Bisquick. But still, breakfast for dinner. What's the occasion? Um, there, uh, you know, there doesn't have to be an occasion. That's a lie. Are you gonna make me watch football again? <laughs> it's, it's March. That means nothing to me. The Super Bowl was, uh, last month. Thought we agreed. If I have to watch sports, you have to watch a Wes Anderson movie. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just eat. Why are you acting weird? I'm not. Eat. Food. Go. Well, um... I'll talk after. No way! If it's important, tell me now. No, it's just... Elodie, we've been together for almost two years. Oh, it's that kind of important. It's just... Relax. We already live together. It's not like you need to propose. Wait. You're not proposing to me right now, are you? Isaac, I love you, but... We haven't even graduated yet, and I need a life plan and a dog before I can even think about it. I'm not happy with our relationship. Wait, jump back. What was that? I don't think this is working. You don't think what is working? We live together. We're dating. We're adorable. People look at our Instagrams, feel a pang of jealousy, and think to themselves, Oh, look at those two. They're dating. They live together. They're adorable. Elodie, I can't do this anymore. I'm so sorry. But the bacon! The eggs, the pancakes? This doesn't make any sense! Well, I don't really know what to do. I mean, we have a lease and, like, one set of dishes. And who's gonna take the freaking cactus? But over breakfast food? Why? You've ruined breakfast for me. You're overreacting. I have not ruined breakfast. Oh. I'm homeless. Shelter me. It's one mouse, Al. You'll get over it. Oh, I am way past the mouse thing now. Yes, it's all for the best. Well, you're late. You left alone me. Well, if you take forever in the shower, I'm surprised you managed to make it here before we graduated. Hilarious. Beat up on the poor, heartbroken. Heartbroken? You've been heartbroken for three weeks, Allie. You'll get over it. I'm homeless. Yeah. Ugh. Don't you think that's kind of ridiculous that he's the one who dumped you and you moved out? I couldn't afford that place by myself. Well, at least you can afford mine. I can pay your utilities this morning. In that case, you can stay as long as you'd like. Hmm. Hey, do you have the sign-in sheet? Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Get ready for 10,000 horrible renditions of Jesus Loves the Little Children. Elodie, Jesus Loves the Little Children is not in God's book. Oh, then how do all the little children know that Jesus loves them? Hmm. Maybe you could focus for five seconds, we can start these auditions, and I don't know, maybe finish college. Um, well, you picked the show. Well, yeah, you said you didn't care, just as long as you could do, you know, production design. Yeah, it doesn't mean I know the songs that are in it. Well, we will watch when we get home then, Jesus. That's the spirit. That wasn't pun. Good meeting, ladies. Sorry I'm late. What is he doing here? I was invited. Yeah, you know, he wanted to help. Help with what? We need help with auditions. We're not capable of doing this by ourselves? No, but I'm... He's our friend, and look at that face. You know, we want that face to be a part of all this. You do? He can... Be our dramaturge. You're making crew decisions without me. No, of course not. Look, I mean, he wanted to help. He bribed me with coffee. I'm very persuasive. Yeah, plus, you know, he lives right next door, so he'll always be around. Yeah, don't remind me. I hear Hamilton playing through the walls every night. <laughs> That's my room. You live alone. And you have something on your face. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's glitter. <laughs> I mean... Free country, bro. <laughs> We've been over this. It's for kids' birthday parties, and they pay for my parties. And you're always invited to my parties. And you don't serve alcohol at your parties. They're themed. The money goes into the decorations. Nobody wants to spend their Saturday nights chasing around an imaginary dog. 
It was a Scooby-Doo mystery murder theme, and you two didn't even dress up. Okay, if you guys could get along for maybe five seconds, we can start the auditions, get the play started, and I don't know, maybe finish college. Look, I'm already getting emails from our assigned advisor, and she's got this long, persnickety-ass sounding last name, and I'm telling you, we have no idea what they're gonna do to us if we don't get things started. What's their name? <sighs> Kelsey Ann Anderson. My mama, I must clutch my pearls. Mm -hmm. You must proceed immediately. Fine. Shall I call on the first person, ladies? Hi, I'm Jen. Hi, I'm Layla. And we'll be, I'll be singing a uh, beautiful city. 2011 Broadway revival version uh, with music and lyrics by uh, Stefan Schwartz. Hi, I'm Charlie. I'll be singing Beautiful City. Uh, hope you're ready. We can build a beautiful city. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. <coughs> uh, can. Can you speak up a little bit? We can build a beautiful city. Not a city of angels, but finally, a city of men. <coughs> we may not reach the ending, but we can start slowly but truly mending brick by brick. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. <coughs> you want a lozenge? <coughs> <laughs> Not a city of angels, no. We can build a city of man. Again? That was... That was so bad! Well, I mean, hold on. We got this person for Gilmer and, and uh, uh, him for Jeffrey. But we still don't have our two leads. I mean, what about this guy? No, he doesn't have the range. Alright, this guy? No, he's the one with no rhythm. And this is the one that we couldn't hear. Could that be fixable? Oh my god! Hey, stop that. Look, we'll go out, we'll get some meaty burgers, and we'll talk about it. It'll be great. Just leave me here to die. Um, no. Houdini's buying us burgers. Isaac? Uh, these are the auditions for Godspell, right? I thought this was a Maddie's project. It's mine and Maddie's project. So I can tell you that auditions are over. Well, uh, I had class. And, uh, you know, it's only 6.59, so I have a good 60 seconds. Seems okay to me. Sorry, but I don't stand for unprofessionalism. And neither does Maddie. Right, Maddie? Never gonna graduate anyway. What's another 60 seconds? Great. We can build a beautiful city. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We can build a beautiful city. Not a city of angels, but we can build a city of men. Thanks. I'll let you know. That was magical. Elodie. No. We gotta put that guy on a stage. Elodie. I said no. I know he's the actor, oh, but... that's the guy? So he's a no. Did you know he could sing like that? Like, did he sing like that in the shower? I don't even think about him in the shower, Kinsley! Okay, look, Elle, I promise I will take care of everything. You want to see him, you want to talk to him. Elodie, please. Please. Please, 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 please. Please, don't make me pull that executive decision. Whatever. Really? You won't be mad? I said whatever. So, who's ready for a bacon cheeseburger? Uh, could 
you shut those more quietly? God, do you need help, baby? Wait, don't take those out, they're all still dirty. I'm doing my dishes, those aren't mine. You're, you're doing a load of just your dishes. Yep. You're taking my dirty dishes out of our dishwasher so you can wash three spoons in a cup? You can use it when I'm done. Aren't you about saving the environment or whatever? Today is my cheat day. You're being ridiculous. Speak. What is Kristen Stewart's best performance? <laughs> Not what I meant. Look, I know you're none too pleased about Isaac playing Jesus, but you're behaving like the Manson girls right now. You cast a boy who couldn't even tell me why he broke up with me. How do you expect him to be a good actor when he can't even communicate effectively with his own girlfriend? Look, you know he's good. You cast him as Jesus. He's the opposite of Jesus. Jesus disappeared for three days without telling his girlfriend. Jesus didn't have a girlfriend. Oh, come on. You know he was totally getting it with Mary Magdalene. That's not appropriate. You're having a meltdown in my kitchen, and I'm being inappropriate. I'm not having a meltdown. I'm going to go take a shower. See you at Halloween. I don't take that long in the shower. <laughs> when you get out, we can go to the Verizon store, upgrade to the iPhone 27 Plus. Shut up! Should I wait for you to start Thanksgiving dinner, or am I going to just leave some cranberry sauce in the fridge? Whoa! Careful there. You'll get trash everywhere. Sorry. Is everything all right? My roommate's peeing an ass. Yeah, I know what you mean. Mine keeps ordering Chinese food and charging it to my Greta card. You live alone! And who's been ordering dozens of pork dumplings? God, shut up. Just give her a break. She's sad. I think sad all over my sofa. Well, then you can check out apartments with her and she can find her own sofa to be sat on. Mm -hmm. She's having a hard time, be nice. Easy for you to say, Mr. Pen with no teller. <laughs> Excuse me, everybody knows that you're my teller. Now pick a card, Raymond. Never. Any card. Just say you'll be my buffer at rehearsal, okay? Two days from now. Ooh, two days from now? Work? Aiden Connor's sixth birthday. Six-year-olds, vicious. That's what I've been saying. Last time one of them tried to cut me in half. Oh, yeah? With a spoon, Maddie. A plastic spoon! Oh, the tragic life of a boy moonlighting as a party magician. Good night. Is this your card? What do you want? Why are we here? It's our thing, you know, we get cheesecake and root beers and talk about our issues. I have issues? Don't be like that, please. We still have to work together. This place is awful. You love this place. I hate that song. It's his birthday. He's maybe nine. I think I should be subjected to that dumb... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, why don't we plan tomorrow's rehearsal? I'm busy tomorrow. How do you know that? I, you're not busy tomorrow. I agreed to do the sets and production design for this. Unless you're bringing some elevations to the rehearsal room, I don't need to be there. It's your grade too. I'm not hanging out with Isaac. You won't have to hang out with me. No, I have to go. Today is your birthday. birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Today is your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Today is your birthday. No, it's not. Happy, happy birthday. Oh my god. Today is your birthday. No, it's not. Happy birthday to you. Stop. Please stop. Today is your birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Today is your birthday. It's not my birthday. Happy birthday to you. Oh my god. 
All right, guys, we have a great first rehearsal planned. I know we have less than half of our cast filled, but you guys are the real stars, and I can't wait to get started. So let's go ahead and have a great day, everyone. I have so much planned. We're going to go through all of our songs. We're going to get in touch with our feelings, and it's going to be... Oh, hi. Um, Are you... Kelsey Ann Anderson. We've emailed. That's right. We have. Um, everyone, this is Miss Anderson. She is our assigned supervisor, and she's a grad student here. Getting a master's in theater education. Mm -hmm. Just here to observe. Carry on. Great. Okay. All right, everyone, let's get started. All right, guys, so we're just going to take it here from the top. Uh, you know what? We can't do that right now, so let's just... Uh, we can't do that part, but we can't... Sonia, for this part, I'm going to want you to stand over there. And oh, please. Maddie, we don't have Sonia right now. Right. Can't do that. You know what? Technically, we can't really do this song until we have our Judas and our Peggy. Um, but um, that's that's okay. That's okay. I will stand in for Sonia. And we're already filling in for Irv and uh, Joanne and Peggy. It's fine, guys. It's fine. So, what do you guys think your character's motivations are in this scene? I mean, God. <laughs> Salvation. Do we have any snacks? All right, everyone. Now this scene is going to rely heavily on some improv and audience participation. I will play the audience. But aren't you Judas? I know you did the scene. Right. Um, we're going to power through, you guys. We're amazing. Let's just skip, 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 skip. Okay. So I will be Judas. And oh, you can be the audience. But I'm I'm Jeffrey, and I have like eight lines. You know what? We're just gonna start from that very last line on the last page. Is everyone ready? You got that? Last line, last page. Awesome. Okay, you should do the starting note. Got that? Okay, awesome, great. You know what? You know what guys? You did such a great job. Let's just let's just call it a day and I'll see you next time, okay? So how do you think it went? Maybe it's best if we talk over here. Here's good. Right, because no one can hear me screaming from here. Right, Miss Anderson? Get it. I wouldn't be joking right now if I were you, Matilda. Okay, I'm sorry, ma'am. That's how I deal with failure. Well, at least you know it was bad. You know, when I was assigned to be your supervisor for my directed study, I wasn't concerned about working with undergrads. It seemed like you had things together. But clearly, I was wrong. You need to full cast ASAP. Yeah, I know. We're really trying to get everything together. The show is too soon for excuses, Matilda. You have 48 hours to at least find a Judas, or I'm going to have to tell the department to reject your proposal so I can be reassigned. What? You can't... Close your mouth, Matilda. Good luck. See you Sunday? Yeah, I'll, I'll see you Sunday then. Alright. You haven't left yet. I, uh, no. Um, I'm gonna go. I'll uh, see you next week. Levi's nice. What? Levi, the guy who gave you his number. Um, bye, Maddie. No way, hold up. What? You know exactly what, Isaac. What's your problem? Not so much of a problem as a surprise. Stop it. Uh, but you Maddie. Were... How did I not see this? How did I? Elodie and I were always- Oh, no, 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 don't tell Elodie. Oh, no. I mean, it's gonna be far better coming from you. Oh, no, I, I can't tell her. But you have to, Isaac. She's been so angry lately <laughs> and like, oh my God, you didn't give her a reason. Now you have to tell her. No, but I'm not really telling people. But she's not people. Maddie, it's not up to you. Yeah, but you don't have to live with her. So. You can't tell her. If you do, I won't do the show. Whoa, whoa, stud. <laughs> Let's, that was never the plan, really. I. It was never Wait, the plan. so you're, you're not going to tell her? No. Um, I don't want to deal with that aftermath, but you're going to tell her. 
You are gonna have to tell her, and soon, because I don't want this messing up our show. Yeah, I, I guess. <sighs> She's gonna flip out, isn't she? Yeah. Are you... Are you gonna get up? Uh, Maddie. Maddie, you're like in the way. Of what? I don't know. God. Good. You can just smite me now. Maddie. Send down the lightning bolts. Maddie. Goodbye, cruel world. What are we even doing here? We need a miracle to save our play. Stop being dramatic. Did you not hear what Kelsey Ann Anderson said to me? Well, you've only repeated it ten times. My thesis sucks. The play is terrible. My life is over. Why did I even go to college? Because you don't want to work at the coffee shop forever. Well, I mean, it's all I'm good for anyway. <laughs> You're the worst barista there? You didn't come to help, did you? We're gonna fail senior year. This is ridiculous. I'm not waiting for your miracle. So you're gonna leave me here like a weirdo? I'm gonna find him. You mean him, him? Because I think you just go in there. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the spirit. Hi, I was wondering if I could put up a flyer. Wait. Today is your birthday. birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. You're the guy. The guy? The singing guy. The singing guy? No, I think I see a young John Cryer in the corner. Yes, you. What's your name? Who's asking? No time. What's your name? Jake. And who do I have the pleasure of talking to? Jake, I bequeath you with the honor of playing Judas in a production of Godspell. What? I'm doing a production of Godspell at HU. Uh, okay. And I'm casting you as Judas. What? I don't even know your name. Though I'm sure it's as lovely as your face. Ew. My name is Elodie. Oh. Wow. I was right. Again. Gross. So you're gonna do it. Great. Here, put your number in my phone. You know this is weird, right? I'm way past weird. Oh, there. What's in it for me? I'll be there. I gave you my number. Why don't you give me yours? And we can get coffee Friday. You could be a serial killer, and I don't obey commands. It wasn't a... Fine. Would you like to get coffee with me? Casual coffee date in a public place, but only because I'm desperate. For a Judas, not for a date. I know you think that this is charming, but let me tell you that it's not. It's yucky. Women are people too. Rehearsal tomorrow at noon. Be there or no coffee date. Hey, buddy. Hi. You do know you're in public and not in your kitchen where you normally do this, right? Just leave me here to die. Well, we wouldn't have to move very far for the funeral. Can I help you? Okay, so it wasn't the best rehearsal. It wasn't not the worst rehearsal. Oh, so you get more quippy when you're like this? It's a gift. What I'm trying to say is that it was only the first rehearsal. I'm the last rehearsal. Oh, shush. You've done crazier. You have months for this. Remember freshman year where you did the 24-hour uh, theater festival? Mm -hmm. And the theme was veganism in modern America. Oh my god, don't remind me. You and Elodie put on the best musical about tempeh I have ever seen. That we did. Put that piece of dairy down or you'll make all the cows frown! That's the greatest line I've ever heard. Stop doing that. <laughs> doing what? The thing where you like, believe in me and you give me this big pep talk. I give great pep talks. We know this. This is a wow. fact. Okay. Come on. What? 
Ugh. They smell nice. No! I believe in you! Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. So this is the guy. Our Judas. He might actually be Judas, but he does have the voice of an angel. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. When you feel sad or under a curse, your life is bad. Your prospects are worse Your wife is sighing, crying And your olive tree is dying Temples are crying and teeth are decaying And credit is weighing your purse Your mood and your robe Are both the deep blue that Job had nothing on you. Don't forget that when you get to 